Hi, this is Steve with Locking Security Mailbox, and today I want to tell you about a new product we have. This is our through the wall letter drop with shoot and optional adjustable extension. So how this works is, is if you have a wall that is five and a half inch or maybe even five and three quarters of an inch or smaller, you would just need the main piece that has the, uh, the cover plate and the door. However, if you have a thicker wall, let's say it's eight inches or maybe 10 or 12 inches, you would choose the optional shoot extension and then the two slide together and then you slide it in and out to go to your wall thickness and then you attach it and screw it in, put it into your wall. So let's talk about the, uh, the first part here. Uh, so this is uh, made out of 12 and 14 gauge steel. So you get a good look at it here. Uh, it has the door, you can see your mail carrier or FedEx or UPS, whoever is dropping off items would push it open. It would slide through and drop down either onto a floor or a basket. Um, and if you're even really needing a receptacle, we could build that for you as well. Oh, by the way, this is made in the USA, so cool. Uh, the rough opening. Uh, so that means this is the size you're going to have to cut to slide this through, uh, the chute portion of it. It's uh, 11 and a half inches wide and four inches high. However, the drop opening, okay, this is the important part, the drop opening is 10 and 5 eighths by two and three quarters. So you can't fit anything any, any bigger than that inside here, anything bigger than the 10 and 5 eighths and two and three quarters. Uh, it's got some really cool features. One of the features we've got, see these little fingers sticking out right here? Those are anti-fishing teeth. So what that means is if someone were to put a coat hanger down this or a string with something sticky on the end, as they pull it back up, it gets caught between the teeth and knocks back down. Um, and it's got that on the extension piece as well. Uh, so if you um, need the extension, then you're not gonna have any problem with people um, fishing it out. Now, it doesn't mean that's 100% foolproof. So if someone spends four hours with a coat hanger, something sticky on the end, it's still possible they could get something out. Uh, this just makes it a lot more difficult. Uh, so the cover plate, uh, this is the portion right here. That is 14 inches wide by uh, 14 inches by six. Okay, so 14 by six. So that means um, when you cut that hole in your wall, it's gonna be able to cover as long as you don't go any greater than 14 by six. And what's cool is um, this is really a uh, heavy duty steel, so you don't have to worry about it bending with, on you when you're putting this through the wall. It, it's, it's really made well. Um, the shoot size, again, it we're, we're really adjusts out from about five and three quarters all the way out to a 12 inch thick wall. Uh, so if you have that thicker wall, maybe you have like cinder block or something like that, you're not gonna have any problems unless you goes to, let's say you have a 14 inch wall. If that's the case, uh, contact us directly and we will make an even longer extension for you. So that's certainly possible. This is great for US mail. It's great for rent payments. If you're in a, an office that accepts rent, uh, small packages, again, as long as it's not wider than that 10 and 5 eighths and, two, and higher than 2 and 3 quarters, you can fit it inside the drop. Um, now, this isn't uh, weatherproof. So if you've got a wall that is hit, being hit by direct weather, um, this isn't going to stop the water from possibly going through. It's going to deflect a lot of it, but it's not designed to be hit with heavy um, rain. If you have a situation where you are on a wall that's hit with heavy rain, uh, let us know and we can build one of these for you that has a rain guard, basically a piece of metal over the top um, that would deflect the rain. But as this is, when you go to install it, so how would you install this? So you would cut your hole and you would want to make sure there's a stud on, uh, ideally a stud on both sides, and then you would run some screws from the inside into the studs to hold this in place. And then also we would encourage you to use some like uh, adhesive caulking to go around the face plate. You can use like a liquid nail and there's a tons of different brands of, of adhesive caulking. And then when you 
push this up against the wall, that's going to help seal this and also help secure it so that it's really strong uh, up against the wall. And then for the chute extension, when you're installing it the same way, what I would really do if it was me is I would go ahead and maybe secure this with some tape just to hold it in place to the length you want. And then as you're um, installing this, you would do the same thing. You'd want to hit this uh, into the studs so that, um, so that it's secured in place. Uh, this is great, again, for U.S. mail. It's great for any office that is accepting rent. You've got the anti-fishing teeth. Uh, it's made in the USA. Uh, this is really a great product. We're excited to introduce it. It's got a powder-coated finish. Um, right now, we're offering it in two colors. This is the bronze color, and then we also have a fog gray color. If you need it in another color, we can do it. It's just going to take some time because we'll have to build it special and paint it special. Um, we can do almond, white, black. Um, I think we've got a red readily available because it is powder coat. Uh, it needs to be a color that we have on hand because we order this for powder coating in large quantities. Uh, great product. Again, this is the through the wall letter drop box with shoe, adjustable optional shoe. Goes up to uh, 12 inches without the shoe, five and three quarters. And if you have any questions or you don't think this is going to work for your needs, uh, be sure to email or call us and uh, we can build just about anything you need for your, um, for your mail or package use or needs. Thanks. Again, Steve with Locking Security Mailbox.